Hey, thanks for joining us on a new edition of Garage Boxing. Kevin Breen here with Rob Ernster. Good to be here as always. Hey, uh, we haven't been here in a while because there's not been much to talk about, but now it's basically Halloween time. It's, it's moving into November, which is going to be a huge boxing month. And we're going to um, start it off and talking about the biggest fight, which is, of course, the Pacquiao-Antonio Margarito fight in Texas, the big stadium. He fought there earlier this year. Whew, man, I mean, that's, I mean, we've been waiting for something like this, haven't we? Yeah, definitely. I uh, want to see what Margarito's got left. You know, he had a lot on his mind last time he was out fighting uh, Mosley, and I think it showed he got dominated. But uh, after watching 24-7, I think he's focused. Uh, you know, I, I think it's going to be good. I mean, it should be a pretty hard fought fight. I don't see either one of those guys backing up. Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be probably the, the best uh, fight that either guy has had in a while. Margarito had a tune-up fight earlier this year in Mexico. He hasn't been able to fight because nobody's been wanting to give him a license. Of course, Pacquiao and Margarito are both um, with top rank. So this thing happens. It's in Texas. He gets a license there. Yeah, after he gets a, You know, so... Uh, you know, I don't know. This is, I think, a lot closer fight than a lot of people think. You know, a lot of people saw the Claudi fight, the Pacquiao fight earlier this year, also in Texas. That, I think, brought in, I think, 30,000 people. They're expecting, I think, over 50 now. So, yeah, well, it's a Mexican fighter. It's in Texas. I mean, it's going to be a huge turnout. Um, you know, as far as the fight, if you want to just get right into it. I think that uh, Pacquiao is going to win, but I think it's going to be a really tough win. And I think that eventually it's going to be that that superior stamina, uh, quickness. You know the quickness of the angles that he does. I mean, if you don't move around, um, a, a margarito is going to eat you up quick. But if you've got, you know, excellent feet, obviously, um, Pacquiao's got some of the fastest feet there. Yeah. Um, you know, just the same way I'd, I'd pick Mayweather over a margarito. You know, what I mean. Um, but I, I think it's going to be a hell of a fight, and I you think, think Margarito's going to win any rounds. I think he's going to win some rounds because he's going to uh, he probably those four, five, six rounds. I think that's where he's going to start. He starts a slow starter, right? So I think you know, and Pacquiao's going to feel out those punches because that's what he does. But I think that's where maybe he's got to tune it up a lot faster than he has, and he's. Not, I don't think he's going to be able to take those shots over a long period of time if he puts himself on the ropes, and, and, which he does sometimes to kind of feel out that power. Margarita's got power whether or not you believe about you know the, the, right. the hand wraps or not. I mean, um, yeah, as long as he can hit you, I mean, he's pretty slow. Right, and that's the thing. It's like <clears throat> after moving around and not just moving around and chasing down like a Kodo, but, but you know, trying to chase down and get, the, get, get into Pacquiao. a rhythm with Pacquiao is a different story. So I see... Um, I see a, a, a late stoppage or decision. I mean, I would I wouldn't, you know, doubt a decision because he's unanimous. Been, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, you well, I mean, decision, you... and you know, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if you took him out. I mean, you know, it's we'll see. It's like I said, it's gonna be a good fight, real good fight, real close fight. Yeah, but I, you think, know, I think most gonna... people see it. Pacquiao winning. I mean, it's almost like Freddie Roach wouldn't even take this fight if he thought he was gonna lose. Obviously. You know, he saw what Mosley did to him. Um, you know, I think he has a feeling Pacquiao is going to do the same thing. You know, I'm hoping for Margarito, one, to be confident, which he sounds like he is, to be focused, to fight, you know, using his height, not like coming down from his 5'10", 5'11", however tall he is, to get down to where Pacquiao is. Hopefully he uses his size advantage and his height, because uh, obviously he's not going to be the quickest guy. Hell, I don't even know if he hits as hard as Pacquiao. You know, Pacquiao's got some pop. Margarito usually beats his guys by wearing him down, so it's not one punch. But, uh, you know, if he cuts the ring off and he fights, you know, uh, fights tall, uh, yeah, I don't see I him just, getting tired. Yeah. I know he could take a punch because he took every single punch of Mosley's when they were fighting. You know, Pacquiao's got some stuff distracting him with his, you know, being part of Congress and not being as focused. He uh, does seem less focused, doesn't he? A little I mean, bit. That's I mean, a there's been one storm. storm. For a guy to lose a fight is to be distracted doing something else. Just like uh, Lennox Lewis when he fight Rockman the first time, he's out fucking off, making a movie, comes back, gets knocked out. Right, focus, it's a guy focus. that he should have won. Should have yeah. beat. Yeah, well, again, I think, you know, Margarito's never been a kind of guy that uses his 
you know, his height to really his advantage. He's so much of a bruiser and brawler, and that's just his instinct that I think you're not going to see him, you know, change his colors and, and try to jab his way into victory. I think, um, I think that weight, you know, it's a catch weight of 150, and I right. think that 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 is will be seen to, as to how heavy Pacquiao comes in. Is he really going to be 150? Is, is Margarito I think gonna, he's barely 150 right now. I mean, Margarito is not going to have to cut those last three or four pounds Maybe so stronger. so hard. You know, so he's tracking good. He looks good, but I, uh, I, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, you know, again, I think as far as athleticism goes, you know, Pacquiao's the kind of guy that's just on a different scale. And I think Pacquiao's got that chin. Like I said, Margarito's not going to snap his jab out. So it could be a late 10, 11 stoppage in a really close, great fight, maybe fight of the year. Um, or, uh, you well, know, that's or, or a unanimous I mean. decision, yeah. you know what I mean? So, yeah, you, obviously that's probably how it's going to go. Out. I mean, what are you going to do, man? You know, I'd like to see a closer fight. I mean, if I was betting, I'd take Pacquiao again. I don't think he'd take this fight if he thought he was going to lose. But, um, you know, Margarito, hopefully he's got uh, some left in him. I mean, it's not like he got beat up in his he career. Has, he, has he just had some time, time off. Sometimes that time off you know, going against an A-plus fighter shows up in a heartbeat. So, you know, he, he had one fight since, he came back, you know, he's uh, he didn't get beat up, probably didn't take any punches really. So, who knows? I mean, I like to see it go the distance, I like to see uh, Margarito win a few rounds. I mean, if he gets enough momentum going, I don't think uh, Pacquiao's going to be able to, to turn around on him. You know, so it all depends on what fight. I think it's Pac fought. Yeah, yeah. I think you Pacquiao's know. got a good chin, and I, I think he's not going to like it. You, said, you were saying get get be there for a lot of his his. Uh, and I think Margarito's Roach, got to go to the body. And know? I think Roach is telling Pacquiao, hey, you know, like you, you can't get let him get on the ropes. I mean, that's his his zone, and he'll get yeah, you. Yeah, keep it in the know? middle of the ring. Keep your distance. In and out, and you know, win the rounds. Hopefully, knock him down. Get we'll him see. Hurt. We'll see if that distraction with the congressman newly elected, all that jazz. But it's going to be a great fight. Again, we got to check the odds on this one. We'll check the odds. All right, yeah. fight fans. It's Mexican here one more time with the fight that everybody's looking for. The two big names: Pacquiao, Margarito, landslide right now. They got Pacquiao minus five seventy-five. I know all you Mexicans out there, we're t pulling for Mar Margarito. I don't see it happening. Put your money on Pacquiao. This is Mesta. I'm out. That's November 13th in Texas, the, the Pacquiao-Margarito fight. And you also got um, the Pavlik, uh, return of Pavlik, fighting Brian Vera, Mike Jones. Mike uh, Jones. The, 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 the uh, middleweight. <laughs>